Good morning, happy Saturday. We are leaving Portree today and we are headed to Fort William. On the way to Fort William, we're gonna stop and do a quick little hike. It's for the Fairy Pools hike. And then I think we're gonna do some other things, I'm not really sure, but we're leaving Portree today. The overnight oats from Sky Cakes. A sheer latte. My favorite part of Portree, if I, if I must say, was when we were eating the burger after the quarang and Michael choked. <laughs> That was the funniest thing that has happened to me. Yeah, that was a blast. <laughs> we are now at the Fairy Pools hike. We just finished the fairy pools. We loved it. We thought it was really cool. A lot of people said it was anticlimactic, but I thought it was absolutely stunning. I would definitely pay to come see them. But we're turning back now. Yep, so if you, oh God. If you keep going a little further up, there's a cave after the pools that you can see, but we decided not to do that. And we're just gonna turn around and keep driving to Fort William. three hour car ride. We just got to our little place in Fort Williams. We have four little bunk beds. But I think we're only staying here for one night and then tomorrow it's off to Glasgow. And then we leave Tuesday and today's Saturday. It's a beautiful view from the room. We are now at the viaduct where they shot the train scene for Harry Potter. Big money. <laughs> $3.50. Look at all those people. It's crazy. We went to Black Isle Brewery, which is also in Fort William, and just finished there. We're headed to our dinner reservations, which is at the inn that we're staying in. And that's it. We're really inn not doing much in. today. Yep. The inn that we're staying in. What is it called? The Ben Nevis Inn. Yep. That and there's a little in. restaurant, and we're staying in the Ben Nevis Inn. <laughs> Ultimately, like, Bailey's it does taste haggis. good. I'm drowning in sauce. Get some potato. Tastes like potatoes and sauce that I smothered in. It's <laughs> edible. A traditional Scottish dessert with whipped cream, Scottish whiskey, toasted oats, honey, raspberries, and shortbread. Good morning! So this is Ben Nevis. You can't see the top of it right now because it's so foggy. The place that we're staying, their slogan is the Wee Inn at the foot of the Ben. We're just walking around a little bit before we leave here because we were just in here for one night in Fort William. And then we're headed to 
of Glasgow, which is our last trip. We'll be there for the next two or three nights, two nights. So we're just gonna walk around and then we have quite a few stops on the way to Glasgow that we're going to go see things, do a little walks, that kind of thing on our little road trip. These walls are all over Scotland. I'm pretty sure they're like the old original fencing. I just think they're so cool. They're all over Scotland. Every time we drive far distances, you see a bunch of these all in the fields. I think they're so pretty. We've been to Fort William today for a little breakfast and coffee before we drive to Glencoe. Going to the Wildcat. It's a raw vegan Twix bar. Okay. It's not as good as a real thing, but it's pretty good. <laughs> that looks incredible. Oh yeah, I got almond flour on my back. Just got done eating our breakfast in Fort Williams. We had. Uh, just got done eating our <laughs> breakfast in Fort William. We stopped at a cafe called Wildcat. It was so good. The healthiest thing we've had the entire trip. It was I'm so fantastic. Happy about it. And Jessica and I must have had a sweet tooth because we both got chocolate bars and a raw vegan Twix. Raw vegan Twix. And it was all delicious. So our next stop is going to be Glencoe and then down to Glasgow. Sisters, which you can't see. One, two, three. We're on Skyfall Road. Which is from James Bond? Yeah, the, the Skyfall James Bond movie. This is where they filmed Skyfall, or at least the scene in it. Where Nim dies and the house blows up. Perfect. Someone goes under the water, I forget. Yeah, we're gonna have to rewatch the movie. <laughs> Lomond, the largest body of fresh water in Britain, and we are driving on our way to Glasgow. And so we stopped in just to sit, take in the views. Michael and I got a cappuccino to help us stay awake on the drive, and this is kind of the park that we're sitting at. We stopped again in Bollock. Yep for a bite to eat. How long are we from Glasgow, do we know? 20 miles from Glasgow. Just stopped here for lunch. It was all right. It's actually an inn too. Just dropped off Blue, Blue Buffalo. She took care of us all trip. Michael and I are catching the bus. Or no, we're gonna catch an Uber back to downtown. 
From the to, BP. From the BP to go catch up with the girls. Okay, we arrived in Glasgow and our Airbnb literally sucks and it smells like a butt crack. And this is when you first walk in. Here's one of the bathrooms. I don't know why there's a hole in the wall. We had to open the windows, but we kind of like messed up the blinds in the process. It smells so bad in here. What does it smell like? Um, a mixture of poop and fish. Did a chair break? Did I hear someone say something broke? Yeah, Michael sat down in that chair and it almost fell out from under him. And so I'll have the audience know that it was right, broken was before it? I sat down. <laughs> oh my god. And then this is uh, Mac and I's. This is like the master. We chose it because this is the one that actually smells like complete butt. I mean, the bathroom's like cute, but oh, they do have this, and it was a complaint on the Airbnb site that it smells funky in here, but no one said it smells as bad as it does. I literally thought someone left poo in the toilet when we walked in. I mean, not to sound bratty, but this is janky. <laughs> <laughs> I bought these in um, Portree, so I decided, since they smell so good, we're gonna put them in hot water in the sinks. And it's already working. There it is, it honestly smells so much better in here. Hello, I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. The dinner tonight yeah, Japanese good. street oh, food have, and sushi. I've always wanted to do a sushi bell. <laughs> oh. This is a three star. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Michael won't go here. I won't if it's no. sweet. No. What's this across the street? Okay, so just kidding. We're doing this. How many stars? 4.5. Yeah. That's Sorry. acceptable. <laughs> They're open till 10. His 30th birthday. My 30th birthday, oh, but I just like to be a natural beauty and hiking. Yeah, it's cold and lovely. Yeah, it's gorgeous. He had his 50th just a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Nice. So we Happy have late birthday. birthday. Yay. I do. What do you think of Scotland? We love it. Yeah. It's your first time. Yeah. yeah. He's I mean, liking it. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Like. Good morning. Today is Monday. Woke up and the flat still smells like complete butt. It made me gag this morning when I woke up and opened up our bathroom door. I think it's something in the pipes in the bathroom, but anyways, we made it just one more night here. Today we're going to be doing a lot of walking around the city, going and seeing some of the more historical sites, and I think the university, I think we're going to go to the art museum, um, but first we're going to go get some coffee and maybe some brunch or some food, and this is our last day, so we've already checked into our flight tomorrow. We leave at 8 a.m., so we have to leave here between like 4 and 5 a.m. to get to the airport, so it's gonna be quite an early morning, so it's probably gonna be an early night as well. Last night, I kind of just stopped filming, but we ended up going to a little bar with live music. We met this other couple who is local, and they started talking to us, and everyone's so friendly here, but they filled us in a lot on the history of um, like the football and religion wars that go on. Pretty fascinating stuff, like the Catholics versus the Protestants and um, Raiders versus Celtics. I know I knew the football thing was big. I just didn't know the religion thing was so big here. So, just an FYI, maybe worth a Google to look into more of like the cultures here. So we're gonna get some coffee and enjoy our last day in Scotland. Show me where the ending goes. Oh, I good cappuccino. It's tasty and warm. I'm not crying. <laughs> Days. It actually is though. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> this is the like central station of Glasgow. The train station. Just wanted to come in here and see it. Honestly don't I 
should be the last to know. This is where we went last night, the Piper Bar. Headed to breakfast, and then we're gonna check out the university and some museums. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I Michael, you got the vanilla? Mmm, tasty. There you go. What'd you get, Kaylee? The hazelnut? Tastes like dirt. There you go. The last <laughs> okay, before I forget, something really interesting about the entire country of Scotland, and maybe even all of UK, is the bathrooms are impossible to find. Every restaurant, it's like, go up two flight of stairs, turn right and then turn left, and then walk into a corridor and open up four more doors, and then eventually you'll find a toilet. Hello, Mona. I mistook you for a dream. The engine glows, and I guess you always seem to know. Hello, Mona. I push back the serious healing, the ends unknown, to get back the life I used to know. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know and now we're headed to see Glasgow University. Last night, Kaylee and Michael's flight just got canceled. So they're trying to figure out when they're getting home and where they're going to go. We might have to I, get a boat. I guess we're Scottish now. <laughs> we're just going to paddle home. So needless to say, we are finishing our little scotch tasting. We also have a tasting of Stella Artois in the fridge. So. Yeah. Hello, we're just getting rid of groceries Long tonight. Night, yeah. Or do you want to keep it accessible? Bye. Bye. Miss you. Say Tomorrow on our day. Oh. Just you see who we went to first. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks so Bye. much for joining us on our lovely little Bye. adventure. Yeah. Bye for I'm glad we got to celebrate tomorrow. Now, where to next? Japan. 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 Iceland. Iceland. It sounds like Mac needs to be decisive what he wants for his 30th birthday. Right now. Okay, all right. I'll think about it. Day 12, we are just walking. I'm looking at the wrong camera. Where's the camera? Other side. <laughs> we just got to our hotel and hoping we can check in early. It's like 10 a.m. We had to be out of the Airbnb though. We are hoping to check in early. Show and the this is our hotel. It looks bougie, you know. 
get that cash back. Might as well splurge, am I right? Keep you posted on how the day goes. So we were able to check in early, so nice. Here's our room. The, all they had left was the accessible room, so it's got some wide corridors and emergency string. And we got our welcome cookies. We're gonna- Get coffee. Get coffee and food. Up. Hello. Are we live? Who, are, we, uh... are we live? Is it on? Hey everyone. We're here with you today. Coming to you live from <laughs> Naked Soup. How do you turn it around? You can't once it's oh, videoing. Oh, you can't turn it around? Okay. From Naked Soup. Kaylee, what, what's on the menu for today? Apparently soup that's naked and some lattes. And we were gonna walk here, but Michael's knee is swollen. So we took an Uber. And then after this, we're going to go to the Botanical Gardens. We're just right across the street. And yeah. And we're definitely gonna let the camera eat first. Wow, five stars, so good. Wow. We'll eat there again. Also another pro of it is that the bathroom was literally just right there, so easy to find, so I didn't have to go up multiple flights of steps. And now we are heading to the Botanical Gardens. Edit in Mac. Mac Daddy. The Botanical Gardens, they are free entry. Just those dogs are for you. My question for the audience is, why don't any of my succulents look this good? Hand knitted bench to warm your wee buns. The wee is buns. back through the gardens to go get some ice cream and then we're gonna head back to the hotel and call it a day because I want to get in the sauna and just relax. Time for some R&R. &R. <laughs> Our feet hurt, Michael's knee is swollen. Let's scoop, literally, because we're about to get one. That one has <laughs> chewed us up and spit us out. Okay, okay, so we had a little bit of change in plans. We decided to go to a brewery we're gonna go to Ennis and Gunn. We are. It's a Scotland, Scottish brewery. And we walked through West End, Glasgow, and it was so cool. There's so many places I wanted to go. Juice bar, a coffee shop slash library store. One of the coffee shops said free matcha demo, um, which would've been cool. What else was there? A lot of There's fancy cars. Tons of Italian food, French food, all kinds of stuff. If I ever came back to Glasgow, I would want to stay in the West End and explore a little bit more on this side of town. So yeah, to the brewery we go. We just got to Ashton Lane and wow, look how cute. Craft Brewery, this is Ennis and Gunn. Kaylee's wasted. <laughs> Not gonna lie. They have some really good stuff here though. A lot of yeah. selection. There's actually a lot of stuff here that's uh, sourced from the US. We're seeing a lot of uh, places that we've seen before from Austin, Texas. 
And uh, but the beer's good. Cool the vibe. Beer is so good. It's really cool here. design. It's really cute. Even though we're the only ones here, it's like it's what you make of it, you know. So and this is just so much better drinking. than that. And what else can you do when your flight's canceled? And what better thing to do on the day that your flight's canceled than have a few drinks and start talking about your next trips, which is what we have been finding ourselves doing, is talking about what trips we want to do next and what's left for the year and all the fun things. And as my mom always says, the adventures of Kaylee and Michael here in full plus, swing. Plus Jack, Jess and Mac. Yes. <laughs> or Massica. It's nonstop. Yeah. Anyways, TTYL. We keep saying we're going to get ice cream and then we end up pivoting. So this time we pivoted to an Italian restaurant and we just ordered some pastas and meatballs. And it's really cute in here. We go window shopping for food. It's, it's very crowded, so it must be good. We decided to get room service at... What time is it, Michael? Nine. At 9 p.m. Caesar salad, dessert, and the main course. Oh, chicken tendies. <laughs> so, we woke up at 6 a.m. this morning and found out our flight to London was canceled. And British Airways said they couldn't change it, so then we called Amex, they couldn't fix it. I said go to the airport, we go to the airport, there's a line, hundreds, hundreds of people deep. Michael gets on the phone with British Airways again, and they are able to book us, or they could rebook us for tomorrow at 8 a.m., and we're like, we don't want to fly out of Moscow at this point, so we... It says there are two flights that have been canceled so far, it's not 8 a.m. So we just rebooked the flight out of Edinburgh today. To London, stay the night in London, and catch our flight to Denver tomorrow at 2.50 p.m., but we'll get, hopefully, to explore London maybe a little, unless we end up having to stay in the airport for 20 hours. Keep me posted. We went to Pret, uh manager or something. We tried to go to single end again. But... Didn't work. The guy gave us a free little espresso cake for having a bad day. We're running on fumes here. Hello fans. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, you should. Because we're working hard for it. So now we're just in the Edinburgh airport and uh, waiting for our plane to get clean. So we can head to, uh, head to London. And uh, we'll have about six hours of daylight in London to go explore, see what we can get done there. And then hopefully catching a flight all the way back to Denver. kaylee has been looking for restaurants, so hopefully we'll have an update here shortly with what we end up doing there. Haven't found um, anything. But this is vacation bonus day two. Where are we? This is live. We're in the underground. The infamous, the story told, the tale of wise men, underground. The underground what? Railroad. Um, no. <laughs> Smoking or vaping uh, is not permitted in the station the or on any train. You heard that. that. The underground in London. Woo! We made it to London. First sight. We made it to our hotel. We've both had many brain farts today. <laughs> we almost got bought the wrong train tickets. We left the concierge desk or whatever without even getting our ticket to our room. Forgot jackets in the room, forgot water. So it's been a day. We're walking around London. We have the double deckers. They're everywhere in Europe. So yeah, but people special. don't know that. Show us to them. Okay. Uh, 
contemplating what we want to do tomorrow. Michael wants to wake up at 5 a.m. We'll see. Dressed, but that's okay. We're out on this cute little terrace. Literally wedged in here. <laughs> hey, cheers. Cheers. Most beautiful drinks. Some naan, lamb shank, tikka masala, and rice. Michael, where are we? We have the governor's house. I think it's more than the governor. There she was. Good morning, fans. It's 6 a.m. here, and we are up and gonna make the most of our one day in London. Actually, we just have like three three to four-ish hours of exploring. So, gonna make the most of it and our allergies are killing us, so we'll see how it goes. All right, tour guide, where are we? Uh, look out. <laughs> There's the Big Ben. There's I'm Westminster Abbey. We're just surrounded by really cool buildings. the London Eye. We are in Trafalgar Square. The Great Scotland Yard. Michael said it's an old prison. The monument. We wanted to go to the Sky Garden. It's free, but they don't open till 10 and it is 7.25 and we will not make it. There's London Bridge. It's um, semi-anticlimactic. It's the bridge if I've ever seen one. <laughs> and there's a building that's beaming light into my eyes. There's Tower Bridge. That is cooler. Cortado, ham and cheese, croissant, latte. Basil water. Mint water. That is the gherkin. You want to tell the people a fun fact about why gherkin is funny to us? In college, I played intramural soccer and Michael was the quote unquote coach and our team name was the Grumpy Gherkins. And there it is. Are you a grumpy gherkin? No, never. <laughs> like a whole bike lane. I love it here. 